let's go. I just popped a honey packet. I'm about to blow. I'm so excited tonight. Tonight is UFC 307. Alex Pereira versus Khalil Roundtree Jr. He's back again. This guy is fighting like every day, bro. It's insane. Dude, and I'm right here. I want to take it all. I'm such a huge fan of Alex Pereira because he's such an entertaining fighter and he fights all the time. I mean, what more could you ask for? And, you know, look, this video might come back and bite me in the ass because I am already assuming that Alex Pereira won tonight. Now, I know that's crazy, but, I mean, look, Khalil Roundtree, I, I don't think he's ready for this. I could be very wrong. Imagine, dude, imagine if Alex gets knocked out tonight or submitted tonight or, like, loses his decision. I'm gonna look pretty dumb, aren't I? But I'm willing to take that risk. And if I'm wrong, in the comments, you'd be like, ah, you're so wrong. You know, you can, you know, you can take the win for yourself. You know, I know it's the first time you ever won anything. So let me talk about what's next for Alex Pereira. So the layman, the casual might say, well, <laughs> uh, I believe Margaret made Uncle Liam should get the next title shot. Nope. Nope, he shouldn't. Why? Because he decided to fight Rackage. Pereira wanted to fight this guy. And he's like, Don't do it in the Middle East, bro. No. Well, you had your chance. Goodbye. We're moving on without you. So here's the thing, guys. Alex Pereira should fight at heavyweight in this next fight. 100% I believe it. He should be fighting John Jones or Tom Aspinall. That's 100% what I think. Because at light heavyweight, yeah, he could fight Magomed. I mean, I wouldn't be too upset if he ends up fighting Magomed. But I think it's the time to do it. Because Alex Pereira, I mean, he's getting pretty old now. He's 37. And, you know, every time I say that mid and late 30s is old, all these, like, old heads in the comments, all these unks start saying, That's not old, man. That's not fucking old. Yeah, I'm sorry to say you're coping. And, and I'm talking about in relation to the sport of MMA. And not even just MMA, in sports in general. How many athletes past 35 still compete at a high level uh, Tom Brady. like actually it's very 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 uncommon so what the ufc should be doing right now is squeezing every little bit of alex Pereira's hype and uh, career as possible so right now you know he's built up enough street cred he can definitely move up to heavyweight and fight for the belt or for the interim belt because i mean tom aspinall is the real champion at heavyweight so you know He's the real champ. So I honestly, either or would be a great fight. Although, although I did hear Alex say that he would potentially move down to 185 to fight Drickus Duplessis. That's a bad idea because Drickus has his weird style. And also, Alex, I don't want him going down to 85 again. That chin cannot take it. Adesanya cracked his chin at 85. And I think it's permanently destroyed at 85 because he would be way too depleted. And also he's been spending all this time building up the light heavyweight frame. If you try to cut back down to 85, it would be brutal. And, you know, he, he has a higher chance of getting knocked out at middleweight than anybody here at light heavyweight. Unless Khalil Roundtree knocked him out because that would be, that'd be insane honestly dude honestly dude okay that's the truth if khalil is able to like just knock out flatline Pereira, dude i i don't even know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a long walk probably go to my nearest bridge and uh skydive so I, I i don't know i don't know i mean i really hope that doesn't come true but you know i'm sure you guys will remind me and let me know if it does happen but yeah dude man after this win over khalil roundtree can we just put some more respect on alex's name I mean, really, if, if you're still an Alex hater, get out, bro, because, um, read the room, bro. Everybody is an Alex Pereira laser, and so am I. I am doing tricks on it, bro. I am doing tricks on it because I am, dude, I am a Chama-obsessed MMA fan. It's true. It's so true because he's the only thing that's slightly entertaining here in the MMA scene right now. It's true. It's really true. What's Connor doing? Dude, I saw this video of Connor the other day where he was like at a soccer field and he was like kicking a soccer player. Like, dude, this guy is off his rocker, off his rocker, too much snow up his nose. He's <laughs> going too crazy, which is painful, but I've already talked about that enough. So Alex Pereira, the GOAT, the only good thing in MMA right now, seriously. I mean, I'm probably forgetting something, but you know, that's the thing. If I can't think of anything else, it's probably not worth remembering. No, no, I'm joking a little bit. I'm joking. I'm amazed. You know, it's cool. It's so entertaining. Blah, blah, blah. We got some other great fights on here, like uh, Rick <laughs> Pennington. Let's go! I've been waiting years for this matchup. I'm so excited. Giliada Pena, what a champ. This is going to be a really good fight. This is going to be a firefight, man. I'm, I'm really tuning in for this. I'm more excited for this matchup 
then the Alex fight, then the Jose Aldo fight. Honestly, they can all just go away because because we're in the Pennington era right now. But I'm joking. I'm sure they're going to have an amazing fight. I'm really sure. So it's going to be great. I'm, I'll be tuning in for sure. So, guys, let me know. So if Alex won, who do you think he should fight? And if he lost, actually, that's a better question who should he fight if he lost oh man well you know honestly yeah if he lost it's probably going to be an immediate rematch honestly even though alex isn't like a super dominant champion he's only got like two title offenses he's a big enough star that i think they would throw him right in there also it would be an insane upset victory so yeah guys look this is just my opinion who cares who even cares about it what i care about what we all care about is what's your guys' opinion so let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think alex should do also was it a good fight or was it a bad fight? I don't know. I'm about to learn in like, uh, I don't know, 20 hours when they finally do the event because UFC events are like all day, all night. That's another thing. I want to make that a rant soon. I literally, my whole Saturday is wasted just like watching UFC brain rot. It's terrible. And then we get to watch DC spin around on his fat belly while he glazes the slightest amount of wrestling. I've never seen a double leg like that before. I have many times. So please... If you love us here at the LSFC, if you love me, because I'm the Decisionator, that's my name. I'm not just some random voiceless person. I'm not the LSFC. I am the Decisionator. If you really love me, because I love you, not in like the, you know, not in that way. I think you should like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. But dude, if you really like us, bro, if you're like top, like top guy, you should totally freaking join our LSFC membership, channel membership, because there's insane value in joining and becoming a member you get access to exclusive channel perks and the lsfc grappling resources bro these grappling resources will literally bring you from a bum a bum in jujitsu and wrestling all that bring you from a bum to literally winning tournaments and getting on the podium is that what you want and it's for like what 199 that's all that's it that's all you gotta pay one time and then you have access to the lsfc grappling resources it's so easy bro you have to do it right now if you're not i don't know what you're doing if you're not a channel member i really don't know but hey you know i'm going a little too far right now so if you like this video please 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 like comment subscribe to the lcd youtube channel goodbye have a great rest of your day hope we enjoy the fights enjoy the event thank you so much for watching goodbye